some of you might here might be looking at us going, hey, funny thing, that looks like the same as in the last box. You'd be right, but this time, as always, I have to go and get SLI. I did say in the last video I would, I wasn't expecting to get it as soon as I did, but it happened. So I need to test these figures again on these games that I tried before and see, is it really worth it? From what I can tell it already is. Let's find out, eh, shall we? So the first thing I need to do is get this thing out of the box, which I should be able to do this time because I know how to open these things, and put them in the machine. So let's do that. So it turns out that maybe the video I was going to have me putting the graphics card in, which you pretty much already seen anyway, but I was going to include with it, with obviously a bit of voiceover, didn't quite go as planned. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it as that. Uh, the quality wasn't good enough, basically, I didn't like it, I didn't appreciate it. So that bit is slightly missed, I am sorry. But anyway, it's a day or so later, I have got it all in, I have been using it, I have been, admittedly I've been having a bit of fun with it first before doing this video sort of stuff, and I do apologize for the shade camera, as you may see by this arm right here, I am videoing well, like this, for a change. I thought I would take a bit more of a unprofessional approach to it. It's something to make up for not having a video of it, anyway. But yeah, it's all in. Um, excuse me, I'll just show you the way. And this year's all in, 1980s, two of them. I'm just gonna move a bit closer where you're probably gonna hear a bit of fan noise. I might cancel that out. So there we go, it's all in, as you can see from that, I sort of had to cut out me fumbling with the camera again, because you don't want to see that. One thing I would like, maybe, is not to have those white LEDs on the top. Well, it's a good thing, because it at least tells you that it's plugged in. That's what they're there for, there's, but, yep, you're good, you got it powered in, Whee. But, I, when it's in and you know it's on, this, I wish there was sort of an option where you could at least turn that off. Or, I know this is asking way too much now, but maybe change AD colour? Just a thought. But, that is like the smallest nitpick ever on the graphics cards. Like, other than that, they are pretty good. I've been, like I said, I've been using them for a little while. Sort of not doing this video like I should be doing. Sorry guys, I was having a bit of fun. And, well, heat wise, they are freaking awesome still. They overclock just the same. I didn't have to like drop it down because what happens when you overclock is they will adjust each other to the same because they got because obviously they're sharing the memory and whatever else. So yeah, I'm quite pleased that there wasn't a need for me to drop it down, which may say that I might have not overclocked them highly enough to the point where you would see that indiscrepancy between two. But hey ho, I try and overclock and. I can't spend, well, I don't want to spend so long. Oh, nope, turn it down again. Oh, turn, oh, oh, and just, you know, messing around with the slider constantly. I sort of go that, that, good, or oh, no, nope, okay, drop it back a bit, drop it back. Is that what? Yeah, cool, we're done, sort of thing. You know, I probably could spend a bit longer and get a little bit more out of it, but it depends how much time you really have. So, yeah, i got to do some benchmarking now. Um, and yeah, see the results. Before I start reading out all the numbers, I should go through what the build I am running for these benchmarks. It is the Intel 5960 at 4.1GHz, called by the NZXT Kraken X61, on the board the Asus Rampage um, X89 board. Uh, you got the Kingston HyperX DDDR4 3000MHz RAM, that's 16 gigs of, and then in the Corsair 540 case. And lastly, before we get into the numbers, I gotta show you at least what um, overclock I am running on these 980s. Uh, I've got 540 memory clock, GPU clock of 203, and temp target of 91 degrees, as well as 125% power. Bear in mind that the temperature never even reaches 80 degrees at the moment, so don't worry about the 91 degrees. That though at least gives us a fairly reasonable overclock. I wouldn't say it's anything special, but it's pretty good. First off, I should 
lay down how I benchmark it is at 1080p generally everything up to high in the sense that obviously the same throughout I do five runs and take the average for each one I do so first up we have 1780 that comes in at a score of 2538 we then have two that comes in at 4662 one 980 of overclocked at 2947 and then the 980s, the two of, at 5,063. Shadow Mordor next, up at 1080p, high settings again, 1,780 comes in at 68 FPS, 2 at 114 FPS, 1,980 at 86 FPS, and then 2 at 147. 147 is a lot, so you could probably go as far as going 1440p, and it would still be just fine with it. So now we've got ourselves some Thief at 1080p and 1780 comes in at 64 FPS, 2 at 100, uh, you've got then the 980 at 87, 2 of at 122. Tomb Raider, very similar to Thief, you've got the 780 at 41 FPS, 2 at 80 FPS, 980 at 56 and then two 980s at 111. And now we've got Grid Autosport next. We got 1780 at 58 FPS. We got two at 118 FPS. 1980 on its own at 113 FPS, and then two at 170. So there we have it. That's um, the 980s for you. Uh, two of them, for that matter. Um, Percentages-wise, some are pretty good and quite convincing. SLA is worth it stuff like Valley where you're getting something like a 60% additional improvement you know you're not in some cases you may be getting nearly double obviously you never are going to get double the performance but you're getting close at least um, yeah um, the main thing a lot of people will SLI for is not the averages because the averages is fine but it's the dips that people don't want like um Valley still, like Valley just before you'd get about 30 FPS minimum on a 980. You've now taken up another 10 frames, you're up to about 41, it reckons. And you get stuff like um, Shadow of Mordor, where you get you used to get a minimum of just under 60 FPS. Which is fine for a lot of people, but a lot of people like to have it over 60. If you're on a PC, that's generally what you would be after. Um, in this case, you're getting 95 as a minimum, it reckons, which is pretty damn good. Like, I'm, I would be happy with that, especially at all ultra minimum. I would like it to really run at a 60. Tomb Raider had a hard time of um, staying like it, it, it was. The maximums before were only just over the 60, about 74, which is good, like most people will deal with that and they'll just probably maybe bump down the AA a little bit, deal with a little bit more jaggies and then it will still be perfect like FPS wise but for if you want to be one of those people that wants to run things on maximum, if you get then had two your minimum is, well your maximum sorry is 146 and then your minimum goes to 78 which is perfectly fine like for a lot of things that should be perfectly fine for you uh, the SLI performance wise though, Thief seemed to run worse than Tomb Raider when it came to SLI. I don't know if that's to do with the profiling or what for instance, but um, it, it seemed a lot of, lot of difference between the two, whereas Tomb Raider for instance, you were seeing a double, which I I'm, I'm don't really get at the moment. Why? Because you would have thought they'd be on the same sort of engine, I would have thought. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't really know that the basis of those in those games too well. Um, another one is Grid Autosport, which I can only presume is down to the profiling again, because even with the 780s before, you didn't see a great deal in jump. But um, Valley seems to do reasonably well. It does not double, but does play around 70 odd percent, maybe more. Again, Mordor, same roughly, pretty much another 70, but. Um, biggest one like I say is Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider came out and the minimum minimum like just doubled near enough which is fine like maybe you're not getting that maximum doubled 
but um, it certainly showed showed good for it. I did also try it with um, the crew. Crew's obviously not a very good game and didn't look very well, but I knew I already had the FPS up so high that I didn't really need any more. It was perfectly fine. So I tried running it at 4K, and that thing, well, by 4K I mean the DSR, the NVIDIA system where it basically puts 4K onto like a 1080p screen, which then does make it look sharper, but not the same as if you actually had a 4K screen. Um, that ran pretty good still. It was still doing over 60 FPS while racing. I don't need any more when it comes to racing games, as long as it's just over the 60, it, it seems nice. But that game doesn't still look that great because it's just the textures are then the issue. It's not the jaggies, it's the textures that cause the issue instead. So you put up to 4K and just sort of still look at the same. But um, yeah, it's it's really good to have. Um, temperature wise also, you're still seeing roughly the same temperatures. For me that is 74 degrees. That's maximum on just the one. Um, the other one... I think gets near about 69 because it's not being worked the same. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with it because it's given me the minimum that I want. And when you start running three screens like I've got, you much prefer to have that little bit more because if you're doing something else, you know, things start dropping a little bit. And then as well, I shouldn't be CPU bound, and it looks like I'm not CPU bound because you know it is running running pretty good and everything I've got it's it's either SLA profiles that slow me down or the engine itself that isn't doesn't deal with SLA that well which could be still then SLA programming profiling I suppose but, you know so yeah I'm happy with it I'm going to stick out I wouldn't bother getting a third because you get getting diminishing returns every time you do this. Like I say, mine's probably on 70% more FPS in whatever games at the moment. You then put three into the equation and you're not getting the same. You're probably, in some games, if it's good with SLI, maybe getting 30 40% again on top of that. And for what that's worth, in most games at the moment, like I'm pretty crazy enough to have two 90s, 980s and SLs running 4K resolution a lot of the time. And I'm not. I'm doing 1080 at the moment because these are all just 1080 screens I've got around at the moment. Which sort of sucks. I should really have got a 1440p screen really. But hey, whatever. But yeah, that is it. Um, other than that, I'm just going to enjoy it now. I need to get on with my other videos. I will have another Mass Effect one up. And before I go, I wish you guys a Happy New Year. And hopefully your Christmases went alright as well. well. You know... Anyway, till next time, peace.